Don in London. Hello, it's March 21st, 2010. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. And uh, my addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour, equally addictive, work, relationships, materialism. And I guess this month is all about materialism in one way or another as we turn away from trying to fix ourselves with anything in recovery. So my videos are all about recovery from addiction or living in recovery with addiction. We don't actually become restored to being completely recovered. This is just my humble opinion. Or is it trifle? I don't know. Anyway, the, the most important thing for me is I know life is, is better sober. And I have a 24-hour program which helps me keep on the straight and narrow, if you like. The, the road gets narrow, narrower, but the life experience gets richer and that's in emotional and spiritual terms not necessarily materialistically although that is not ruled out we never know what is around the corner and you never know the next big thing could be an idea anyway the ideas which work for me at the moment and the practice which works for me at the moment is not to take a drink a day at a time and who helps me do this well family community friends and a fellowship and that fellowship is AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. And what I've learned most of all is if I could keep on a road of sobriety, be it narrow, it's deeper. Deeper in feelings and understanding reality. The rest of life can work. So, simply, 24 hours a day, don't drink. Well, I try not to. And so far it's worked for a day or two. In fact, quite a lot longer. But the, the simple truth is, is for one day only. And many of the mistakes I made in the past were making long-term plans which were just totally unrealistic. They were fantasies in my head. So these days, if I keep my time frame open to now, then I have a, a good chance that life is going to work today. So needs, want, needs and wants, my needs are met on a daily basis, if I'm still alive at the end of it wants, well they, send, they tend to disappear as something which is superfluous to living. So what enriches my life is simply being able to understand what it's like to experience life on life's terms. So AA, the Fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous is a, a big part of my story and I've learned lean on fellowship, lean on, lean on fellowship to keep sober and if I keep sober everything else has a possibility of working out. It doesn't mean it's going to work out the way I would want it to, but it covers my needs most days. So I'm learning life just one day at a time. I think that's the greatest gift that we are given. So, you know, my history, 35 years of drinking, I don't know when I crossed the line, but I do know the first drink did, did do some damage. It changed my feelings and shaped my attitude and behaviour to life and I had good teachers around me all the way because if we drink a lot we associate with people who drink a lot and some people seem to get away with it I don't know how well that is expressed in reality getting away with something but these days I prefer to live it live life as it is and see where it will take me so AA integral to my story I'm not a spokesperson for AA never will will be, never can be, never want to be, never need to be. The fellowship is full of unique authentic people who speak for themselves where they choose and uh, I choose to share experience, strength and hope with a video for those who cannot get to a meeting or just don't know much about the fellowship and have heard either good things or bad things. Each person's experience of the fellowship need be unique and authentic to them and the gift of fellowship is nobody can tell you what to do it's got a lot of suggestions and that's it and what we do with them is as we work our lives sober so what is AA? that's a little bit about it but I've got the statement of intent on this little card here and I share it and I read it because if I recite it I can forget bits and if I recite it it's a recitation rather than the, a feeling of it has some meaning for me that's just me. So here is the AA preamble or statement of intent. 
Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution, does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So within those principles, uh, the desire to stop drinking and share the message, you will find every hue and colour of people, belief, spiritually, emotionally, in the fellowship. And it's a diverse, broad church, which means we go in unique, authentic. And if we are on our spiritual path, living our truth and reality, we, we remain true to ourselves. And one of the keys is to thine own self to be, be true. So for me, I'm very happy. I had a lot of doubts about AA. It was full of people I wasn't sure about, and then I realized I was one of them. Just a desire to stop drinking. So there are 12 steps in the fellowship. And in one of the books of literature, this one, The Daily Reflections, which I share here, it talks about one of the steps each month. And this month is step three, which reads exactly made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him and it took me a long time to realize that it's a person's definition of God or not God which keeps them sober so for me God is truth God is love and God works through people and for others it's similar but different everybody has their own understanding six and a half billion people on the planet six and a half people billion people with a different definition in some way or other. They're very similar probably. So Daily Reflections today, this book, which talks about let go and let good in, let go and let God. And I may have got the wrong page yesterday so I apologise about that. For March 21st it says material and spiritual well-being. And it says here, fear of economic insecurity will leave us, or materialism. Having fear reduced or eliminated and having economic circumstances improve are two different things. When I was new to AA, I had those two ideas confused. I thought fear would leave me only when I started making money. However, another line from the big book, that's the big book of AA, jumped off the page one day when I was chewing on my financial difficulties. For us, material well-being always followed spiritual progress. It never proceeded. I suddenly understood that this promise was a guarantee. I saw that, I saw that it put priorities in the correct order that spiritual progress, that is dealing with reality, would diminish that terrible fear of being destitute just as it diminished many other fears and having been destitute myself, yeah, I don't fear it anymore. What I fear most is losing my sobriety and reality. Today I try to use the talents God gave me to benefit others. I found that it, this that is what others valued all along. I try to remember that I no longer work for myself. I only get to get the use of the wealth of God, the wealth God created, and ever have owned it. My life's purpose is much clearer when I just work to help, not to possess. And that's one of the great gifts for me, is it's not about possession. Uh, spiritual is a day long. It's as good as it can be in reality as we cope with what is going on around us. And if we let go of all these wants, wants and wants, and just cover our needs and share and support one another then truth love and the wisdom of others becomes available to us every single moment so that serenity prayer to acceptance of can do cannot do goes like this and it saves me many times a day God or to your good conscience depending on your beliefs God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference for me is just for today.